Hi, I'm Roy Murphy. You're watching the BitConnect YouTube channel. Coming up in today's video. BitConnect, economies of scale. Hello everyone, I'm Roy Murphy. Welcome back to the BitConnect YouTube channel. Today we are going to be looking at how BitConnect uses economies of scale to make massive savings on transactions. And uh, I'm in the middle of a transaction right now, so um, we can go into the wallet and you can see that my last transaction was actually an exchange for basic attention. So I did a transaction about 10 minutes ago. Usually it happens uh, very, very quickly, usually within less than a minute. And it's been about 15 minutes. And I wanted to check just to make sure I put the right address in that it was going to the right place. And I found something that you guys might find intriguing. So let's go through to the transaction ID in my BitConnect. So you can see the time now is 0122. Um, so 27 minutes ago, about half an hour ago, I actually sent uh, this figure here, uh, 0.328 or uh, 0 0.0328 uh, Bitcoin. It's probably just under $300 at the current value. And what I wanted to do is look at the transaction ID. So every time you make an exchange into BitConnect or Bitcoin, you get a Bitcoin or BitConnect transaction ID. Now you can actually use this transaction ID and you can copy it and you can actually pop this in onto the block explorer so let's take a little look now I've already done that I've added the transaction ID into the search bar on blockchain so you can actually just go there and paste so if you do that and then go enter it'll actually bring you and do a search so I've done a search already for the transaction ID now most of the time you do a transaction ID you get the transaction ID it's for a single transaction and what that means is that on the transaction, when you move money in and out of BitConnect, if you move money into uh, from a BitConnect wallet into BCC, then your transaction uh, charge will be 0 0.0001 BitConnect coin. And if you move it from BitConnect coin into Bitcoin, the charge is 0 0.0004, okay? So if you look at the transaction ID here, you can see there's not just one transaction, there are multiple. There are actually 23 transactions uh, in the list for this one uh, payment gateway uh, push to the blockchain. So if you look down, you can actually see that mine is the third from the bottom. This is my piddly little 0.03 Bitcoin. So here's my, well, it's saying $290.09. But if you look at the whole transaction wrapped up within this um, mother transaction, it already has two confirmations, but there are 24.8 Bitcoins within this single transaction. So out of my nearly $300 transaction, there's actually $220,000 of money in the transaction itself. So if you look at the fees, the fees that are charged for BitConnect is actually $11.23 or 0 0.0012. But there are 23 different transactions. So not only is BitConnect making the 0 0.0004 on the internal transaction, but the economies of scale for moving so much money is actually making on my piddly little $300 transaction it's costing them $11, but they're actually making $100 by including all these other transactions. So just a little way of explaining how doing this economies of scales uh, by moving money in big chunks within the uh, BitConnect uh, ecosystem, it means that the $1.4 million a day they earn in transactions is actually averaged out at $2.2 million every single day it makes just from moving money in and around the system and it's the same money that you put in in the first place there you go another revenue stream for bitconnect <laughs> hope you enjoyed that just a little analogy i'm roy murphy you've been watching the bitconnect youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video this video was brought to you by team smurf we bring you new videos each and every day to join our team click the referral link below this video don't forget to like and subscribe and interact with us in the comments box below. BitConnect. Creating wealth for everyone.